Imagine this. You're stuck in morning traffic. The radio's on, coffee in hand. Then, boom. The ground shakes. You look up, and there it is. A 20-foot-tall Tyrannosaurus Rex, stomping between buildings, its roar drowning out every car alarm in the city. You're not dreaming. This is real. Every extinct animal, back from the dead. And the world is not ready. The Return of Giants It starts slowly. A giant shadow over the ocean turns out to be a megalodon. A prehistoric shark ripping through cruise ships like toys. Planes spot herds of triceratops grazing in open fields. Forests rumble as Brachiosaurus towers rise above the trees, blocking sunlight for miles. And in the suburbs? People report strange howling at night, until footage confirms it's a saber-toothed cat, fangs glinting under porch lights. Scientists scramble. News anchors are speechless. The extinction clock has reversed, and chaos follows. The Ice Age Thaws Next come the Ice Age Beasts. In Canada and Siberia, the permafrost cracks open, and through the snow storms walk woolly mammoths, coated in thick fur, trumpeting through frozen highways. With them, giant ground sloths, larger than a car, move slowly but powerfully through national parks. And somewhere in the Alaskan wilderness, cameras catch a pack of dire wolves chasing an elk. These creatures once shaped the balance of nature. Now, they clash with cities, highways, power lines. Nature doesn't ask permission, it just takes its place back. The Monsters of the Deep Under the surface, things get worse. The oceans are no longer ruled by whales. Pliosaurs, ancient reptilian predators, cruise through the depths devouring submarines. Coral reefs vanish as prehistoric sea scorpions the size of surfboards return, disturbing marine life patterns. And fishermen? They reel in creatures no one seen in 300 million years. Every dive becomes a risk. The seas aren't ours anymore, they never were. Strange skies and crowded lands. The skies aren't safe. Passenger pigeons, once extinct, return in flocks so thick they block out the sun. In the jungles, the dodo walks again, curious, slow, and completely unprepared for modern predators. But it's not all cute and cuddly. Terror birds, flightless but fast. Even insects change the game. Giant dragonflies buzz through city parks, causing panic with wingspans as wide as a desk. Our farms collapse. Pet dogs vanish. Ecosystems fracture overnight. Humans versus nature. We thought we were in control. We thought we ruled the earth. But now we're back in the food chain. Some countries wall off entire cities. Others flee inland. We try to tame them, build reserves, tranquilize study. But there are too many. Too fast. Too wild. Last words. So, what if all extinct animals came back? It wouldn't be a second chance for them. It would be a final warning for us.